Howdy, howdy, everybody. Good morning, and um, I hope y'all had a great weekend. If y'all were new here, my name is Colton. I work full-time with my wife, Courtney. We resell for a living on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark. Not really Poshmark anymore. We're trying to stay away from there. We're fixing to switch over to Macari. So then it'll be Amazon, eBay, and Mercari. I want to stay with three platforms. Um, I don't want to get over my head with four yet. So we're probably just going to transfer everything we got from Poshmark over to Mercari and let it ride that way and see what happens. We'll probably use like Bonanza or List Perfectly to move those listings. But we'll keep y'all updated on that and uh, as we move forward. If you enjoy reselling type content or you know going to garage sales thrifting just whatever we have to show do me a favor pause this video right now and hit that subscribe button it don't cost you nothing and the bell to know when we post up new videos we usually try to do at least three three to four videos a week um these past couple weeks have been hectic for us so we've only been able to do like one or two per week but we're gonna step that back up coming up soon so yesterday was columbus day which was a holiday and we did get in here yesterday and we pulled some of our orders so we could get kind of ahead today so we can list more so i'm gonna let y'all watch yesterday where we pulled those orders and show all them to you and then we're gonna get in there today and pull what else is sold and pack that up so y'all stay tuned and let's get after it all righty guys and gals it is monday columbus day and um we got 22 orders going out on ebay right and as of now today's a shipping holiday so we do not have to ship Plus, we got one on Mercari going out. So we're going to go ahead and pull them and get them packed up today. I'll run this video into tomorrow in case we have more sales. And um, But we're just trying to get a head start. And plus, I can't see hardly nothing right now. My eyes is dilated because I had to go to the eye doctor. So I can't list. So we're just going to pull the orders and pack them. And I'm really light sensitive right now because my eyes are dilated. So, I, I mean, that light is bright right now. I mean... Whew. Mm. so we got 22 orders so i'm gonna have to switch with courtney right now because we're gonna use the phone and all i'm seeing is blurry so miss courtney's gonna start pulling orders and um i'll try to jump in i ain't sure i'll try first y'all we have a rubbermaid fish lunch box off w4 so we actually just listed this what yesterday yeah who would have thought Pay 50 cents for a joker. Ain't that joker and ugly? We sold this for $20.62 plus shipping. That joker is ugly. Look at them big old eyes. Now we gotta get a full case of My Little Pony Squishums. Squishy Flashums. I don't know what they are. We've had them for a while. And for these, we got fifty six seventy eight plus shipping. These are just a full case of them. We gotta de stick them. If that ain't what we paid for them, I think they were half that, like 75 cents a piece. There's 35 of them in here. That's what they are in little squishies. Um, but that's going to be fun to de-sticker all in. Mm. Right? Not really. How much did them sell for again? 56.78 plus shipping. Yeah, we took an offer on them. I mean, we've had them a while. Now we got to get a Furby. Y'all, come on. Let's go this way. I want to show y'all something while she's digging it out. Look how full our shelves are getting. It's filling up, ain't it? See, we gotta get good sleep. Good sleep, that's what I need, some good sleep. Is that him? Yeah, it's a good sleep. That's him. So for this little creepy, bug-eyed, green-eyed Furby, $27.99 plus shipping. Well, we, we was getting twenty nine ninety nine for him, but I was running at 30% off sale at the time, so we got a little less, but I mean, I'm still elated with that price. I mean, they don't do nothing. They're just like beanie babies. Now we gotta get two things of ink. Like y'all come on. Like now it's tiny aisle we're filling up. Where's the ink? Okay. Mm. Bus packs, yep. And for these two, one expired it says in July twenty seventeen, the other one was October of last year. And it's dual pack HP sixty two black and color black and color. And for these we got thirty six seventy five free ship. Look at them jokers, buddy. Mm mm mm. That joker still got the bag on her head, so I just left that on there. Ain't them creepy? Um, I got him listed. 
and her listed and the creepy Santa Claus listed it's actually called a fairy I couldn't see to list these other two because my appointment we'll get them listed later and then we're gonna start on all these so now we sold another Furby called big hug big big hug and this is the gray eye creepy Furby Puts it him next to his brother or sister whoever it may be and for him we got $27.99 plus shipping all right, my dilation's wearing off a little bit. If I hold it close, I can't see it like that. But if I hold it out here, I can read it. So now we got to get a Niklaus VCG graphite shaft 9 iron on one of these shelves. Let's look. We'll go around until we find it. That's a 5 iron. That's an 8. That's a 4. That's a 9, I guess. A nine. Yeah, that's a 9. That's it right here. We've been trying to get some law and order back in this shop slowly but surely. Anyhow, this is just a BCG Ned Claus golf iron. Um, nine iron, super G50. I know nothing about golf clubs. This is up $13.96 plus shit. So, I mean, I know they say that's about it. Now we got to get a, oh, this is a good one on G1, a vintage 1989 Mario glass canister. Hey, if we cut that light on, it'll probably be brighter in here. That's brighter. I was debating on keeping or selling this. I decided, what do I need it for? It's cool, but it ain't that cool. So I listed it, Super Mario Bros. 2, 1989. It's got pretty good graphics on it. It's got the lid, but the lid is missing the red seal, you know, so it's kind of loose. $69.99 plus shipping. So, happy with that sale. I'd rather have the 70 bucks all day. Now we got to get a Halloween pumpkin clock on W3. Right here. Pick this up on that 411 sale along with the ink, the Furbies, and that fish thing. Um, I didn't really want this, but that lady, I mean, she was adamant about me buying it. So, I give her two bucks for it. It's missing the stand for it to stand like on a desk, but it can hang on the wall. Fifteen seventy-five plus shipping on that, so happy with that. And uh, I'm glad she was adamant on me buying it, so good to move that. Now we sold an Apple iPod Nano third generation 4 gigabyte model number A1236. I don't have a custom SKU for it, but I know it's with these other ones. Well, I mean, it sold before I could put the SKU in. Right here it is. See this little joker? I thought these were more valuable than what they are. I think we paid four for it at a thrift store. Low battery. And this sold $13.99 plus ship. So, I mean, still making some money on it, but... Wasn't a whole lot. Now we got to go to D1 and get some Remington camo hunting suspenders. I don't look at them. I just turn the other way. Um, they sold. They are adjustable up to 45 inch new seal. See them there? Just suspenders. And these sold 1046 plus shipping. Paid a buck for these, wasn't it? Yeah, because your brother overlooked them. Um, I mean, you're, they're not big money, but they're easy money. Snap a few photos, list them. Takes less than a minute. Throw in jokers in a bubble mailer. I mean, I'll do that all day long. Now we sold some underwear and N1B, some So American Heritage Girls Panties, size medium, eight to 10. The hipsters or boy cut? Seamless hipster. Let me see if I can sh show y'all. Just click on it. See, whenever we sell something, if y'all look at the phone, see how that custom label pops up? And it says N1B. And that does it on every listing in our sold. So that makes it where we know exactly where these things are at and how to pull them. Sometimes though, like at iPod, in the process of me listing it and then me putting it up and then Miss Courtney is usually 24 hours behind on the inventory because like I'll put it up today and then she inventories it in the morning and then today she would have done yesterday's. 
So sometimes if it sells that quick, there won't be a skew on it. What is that noise? I don't know. Did you hear it? It's cracking. There won't be a skew on it, but luckily we just listed it within 24 hours so we know exactly where it's at. So that's usually the reason that happens. What I say, these? You said medium. Hipster boy short. You said hipster, but let me double okay. check. In the city. Yep. Yep, these are them. Right ones. And the reason it takes 24 hours is that way it gives you time to list them on. Yeah, because usually I've not listed them by the time she's wrote it down. I list them usually throughout the day. And it may be that evening before I get them listed. And then by that time, we're usually leaving the shop and then Miss Courtney just goes in the next morning and everything's listed and then she puts it in there. These sell for twelve fifty six plus shipping, so happy with that. Oh, the next one is a good one. So on that four eleven sale, I bought two boxes of these Furbies and then at another yard sale my brother picked up a Suzuki guitar thing that I was fixing to pick up, but he was already looking it up, so he was gonna buy it anyway. And he paid forty five dollars for that. And then after we got the Furbies, because I kind of bought them out from under him while he was scanning them, I was making a deal. So I ended up trading them a box Furbies, which is pretty good value over the time it'll take them to sell. If there's 24 per case, they're going to go for 25 to $30 a piece. And he's going to make good money, but it may take, you know, three or four months for them to sell or more. But judging why, by the way, ours is moving, they're not going to take that long to sell. So I traded him that more value for a lesser value item but the lesser value item is going to flip i knew it was going to flip quick so make that money and move on so we traded for that and let's go pull it now it's a suzuki q chord digital song card guitar model qc1 so let's go grab back real quick just listed this thing it did have the box with it but i listed it without the box because the box had writing on it i mean it didn't serve no purpose so this comes with a cue card song cartridge religious standards the charger and then the actual unit here it does work i tested every button on it and i mean it works great run off power or batteries and this sold real quick for 174.99 plus shipping so i mean awesome with that and um uh, i mean easy to list easy to ship make money quick my brother will get to make some money off him furby so everybody's happy i mean can't complain with that now in f1 we got to get a vintage first alert programmable thingy my bobber i lost my train of thought First alert thingy, my boss. Right there it is. And them dolls freak me out, man. This is a vintage first alert programmable lamp and appliance timer. So you can, I guess, program something to come on at a certain time every day. Kind of like the clapper, but it's not the clapper. Anyhow, this old 909 plus shipping, so get that going. I have no idea where it come from. Now we sold a vintage Double Dare Super Sloppiest Moments VHS. Actually, the next two are VHS tapes, and they were just listed, so we'll go ahead and grab them both. So we ain't got to walk back over here. So this is just a Double Dare Super Sloppiest Moments. It's hosted by Mark Summers back when he did it, so it's, you know, a while ago. You can see it there. You can see it. I'm not going to rewind it. And it's got some fading, a lot of wear to it. This sold 875 plus ship. This one is a new sealed Disney's Mickey's Fun Songs Beach Party at Walt Disney. New sealed. Um, usually the Mickey sing along type tapes like this do pretty well, even if they're used. Some of them can go for a hundred bucks, depending on how how rare they are. Um, this one wasn't one of them. This one sold 1925 plus ship, so I'm still happy with that. Now we got a few different orders going out to a viewer and uh, let me get to his first message here and we'll read this to you because it's awesome. Howdy Redneck Resale, I love your videos. I wanted to get more treasures from your store. 
God bless you and your wonderful family, your friend Keith from Minnesota. So Keith from Minnesota picked up a few different items from us, so we're going to pull them for him. He's bought from us before, hasn't he? I think so. Them NASCARs? I think so. And he also, on his next purchase, he bought some more things. He says he loves these C7 Christmas lights at Christmas time. Y'all are awesome. Keep up the great videos. Loyal fan of your channel. So Keith, that's awesome, man. Thank you for the notes and for the support and the business. I mean, that's just totally awesome of you. So let's go. Let's start with the first one he bought, and we'll pull it first in N4A. So let's grab this. Right on, Tom. Yeah, that's right. These are them great old big Kodiak thermal socks. Two pairs, shoe size 7 to 12. I mean, the, the case on them got a little wear, but they're brand new. I mean, these will keep you warm in the cold. I may have should have kept these jokers. Well, he lives in Minnesota, so it's yeah, a lot you, colder. You're going to need them worse than I do, I guess. He sold seven thirty five plus ship. And I will combine your shipment. Um, probably be, what it'll be, by the time you see this, you'd already got your refund. Uh, today's Monday. I won't ship them till tomorrow, so you'll get it tomorrow sometime. Now, he also on M4 got some C7 holiday time lights. Yeah, I like these bulbs, too. Every time I see these bulbs, I think of Christmas vacation. The wads of lights. Uh, 20, what was it? 25,000 imported Italian twinkle lights. <laughs> 250 strands of lights, 100 individual bulbs per strand for a grand total of 25,000 imported Italian twinkle lights. So one and two. So these are just two 25 count holiday time C7 light sets, like the old school looking bulbs, which are cool. These two packs sold $17.49 plus shit. And then he came back also and picked up another box of them. Those are C9s. Oh, so he got the rest of the C7s. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got you now. And these ended up selling to him. These are the same thing. We just had a two pack and then a single. This one sold 1049 plus ship. So Keith, thank you so much for that. I mean, these purchases, man, that's so awesome of you. So now we sold a lot of three holiday time 25 count LED color changing red green C7 string lights. Whew. That's a mouthful. They're under the bulbs. Right here they are. Three pack of them. I did, I remember testing these things. These things are pretty cool. We Especially, call them strawberry lights. I think that's what they're also called. I don't know. They're the diamond cut. I know that. See them like that? Three boxes of them. I don't know if you can still get these or not. I assume you can since they're LED. But um, three boxes of them sold fifty four ninety nine plus buyer pay and shipping on them three so get them out happy with them man christmas lights look at that getting that time ain't it we got a whole shelf of christmas lights. oh yeah we still got all these look. oh these these are all green lights though every one of them i don't know how many boxes we have probably 40. so we got another sale going out to a viewer of the channel i know it's a viewer of the channel because i've seen the name in the comments they didn't leave a note, but I'm 100% sure she bought from us before. Miss Joe Flagg purchased a Vera Bradley from us, and it is in L4A. So let's go grab that for her. Um, she actually picked up that last coach purse we had. Mm -hmm. Sure did. So this is a Vera Bradley, just a little purse deal what is this thing called i don't know what it's called carry on purse bag that's how they carry on purse bag see that purse bag very bradley super clean isn't it mm -hmm. and miss courtney picked this up where'd you pick this up all right 411 mm -mm. tabs oh picked this up at tab storage and storage units you see us going to and she picked this up for 2062 plus shipping so thank you so much joe and hope you enjoy this thing it's super clean so you should just be able to throw your stuff in it and go kind of matches my shirt no kind of so thank you again for that now this is a sale i didn't think we was gonna sell i almost donated them 
when I say donate, I may throw in the dumpster, but I didn't. W10A-4. So here is W10A. Dash four. Well, you weren't going to throw it away. We were going to put it in the yard, so. No, I was going to throw them away. And then I looked them up. These are Spider-Man four-piece full sheet sets called spider Cinch. Y'all, I'm not going to open them. You'll see a comp of them, picture of them. It's a flat fitted and two pillar cases. 2062 plus shipping. So happy with that. Everybody say, hey, Courtney. Let's go look at the creepy dolls, Courtney. Dolls, dolls, dolls. Okay. So our last sale on eBay is actually like knee pad, bike pad, elbow pads. Kids protective protective gear. gear. Put it that way. And it's on M2. So y'all come on. I Ooh. think, whoo, all up in my face. I think this is our last one, isn't it? Yep. We got this out of that huge yard sale Bye. trailer we bought. Yeah. And for these, we got 1688 plus shipping. And it's Sky. What are you pointing at? You picking my nose or something on that? That creepy clown behind your head. I'm trying to ignore that creepy clown behind my head. Hold on, let me zoom in on it. That's old school when you say let me zoom in on it and you actually mean let me walk up to it. <laughs> so this sale on Macari was actually a, should have been a no-no sale. We didn't think, apparently the person knew me from high school couldn't tell you who you were. I'm sorry about that. We did that. think. Well, okay. We knew we could make our money back even at parts. Yes, but we should have. Hold on, let me get in this way. She ain't, so, she ain't explaining that well. So what we did is we seen this iPad. It was dead at a yard sale. I looked up the model number and I knew it was an electronic. So I always look at the sold listings for parts only. So I looked at that. She wanted a hundred bucks. I said, well, I can make my money back if it's completely smashed. So it was kind of a gamble, but it wasn't really a gamble because I knew worst case would break even. Worst case. And, um. But I didn't anticipate the issue that happened was because it was, what was it? It was password and activation locked. So it was locked to this woman's iCloud account. And when that happens, you can't sell it on eBay because it can be stolen. Because technically it's still linked to that person's account. So there's no way to verify that you own it legitly. So eBay won't let you list it. So we put it on Macari. Sure did. And we took an offer on Macari. Sure did. Didn't make as much as we could have. Sure didn't. But we made our money back. Sure did. So let's grab this iPad. Let's do it. And it's actually a nice iPad. It Very is nice. a seventh gen rose gold Wi-Fi only. Super nice tablet. I mean, it works great if you can get into it. I can get into it. It's just the back door way of getting into it. And then it defeats the purpose. Somebody out there can get into it. So, this we sold for a hundred and thirty-two dollars free ship. So we're gonna exactly break even. We're gonna break even, and that's gonna be that. With reselling, I mean, it's not really a gamble. I don't want to say gamble because, I mean, worst case, I'm breaking even. But it was a gamble in the fact where if it did work and we could get into it, and it wasn't locked, we could have made a lot more money. But, I mean, I should have asked, hey, is there a password on this? If there is, what is it? You know, I should have did that, but I didn't. Rookie. So if you sell Apple electronics and they have the find my iPhone thing, make sure it's not turned on so your iCloud is not connected to it. Right. Anyhow, these are what's going out so far on eBay and Mercari. We still got another day left. We're going to pack all this stuff up today, though, so we can get a head start on it. And then we're going to lift the rest of the day. So That's where we're at. I will keep this video open until tomorrow, at the least, to see what else goes out. But if nothing else goes out, then we suck at life, I guess. Mm. Mm. Alrighty, so what we like to do with some of our loose items that'll fit, not all of them, because they all don't fit, we'll just throw them in these bags like his fish and seal it up because it's just going in a bubble mailer. We use these great value Walmart brand extra large bags, twist tie bags. 
hundred of them for like what two bucks something, something like, like that. that and then it just adds you know a different element when they open it up they think hey he took care of it you know and it looks nicer don't really cost hardly anything to do no time you just throw the thing in there with your card or whatever and then this is just a 12 inch impulse sealer and you just i mean these bags work great for it and then you can just tear it off like that and you could actually do it again if you wanted to you know make it smaller and, you know customize it fit whatever you want to you don't have to and uh, we do use these for amazon too but with amazon you do have to put some warning stickers on them for suffocation warning you just slap that on whatever you're sealing up if it requires poly bag and these work just as well so i mean it's a lot cheaper and then you can actually you know take these other parts of bags and save them and reuse them for other things you know if it's small but i mean just adds another element to their package and whole what is it called the whole presentation yeah the whole outlook what's the word i'm on? it adds to the experience i guess um you will if you do use this pretty often we use ours probably 10 to 15 times every day at least you will have to replace this felt pad you know probably once every 800 seals thousand seals you'll have to replace it probably once every 500 seals 400 seals you'll need to take a scotty peeler and just run along it because some of the bag will end up sticking to it like that but i mean other than that it works great and it just adds to the deal a whole lot you know and you, this was like 27 bucks free Here. shipping free shipping on amazon you can use these little cheap bags you don't have to put a su su really have to put a suffocation warning on these on ebay um if you wanted to you could i mean it ain't gonna hurt nothing we just don't but um, on amazon you do have to have that on there and it works really well say if you got video, uh, board games or a bunch of small pieces you can put them all in here and seal them up just food for thought in case what i need to do Alrighty, so I'm cleaning up these cards, getting ready to go through them and list them. These two are good. I'm just going to list them with the box. This one is a winter circle car, but it's also an action. I comped it look to be about $12.99 with the box. And I have found these, act, I mean not action cars, these winter circles and racing, that's our neighbors, and racing champion cars. So like this winter circle here. Here's a, I sold this one not too long ago. John Wayne? Yeah. These do better, I have found, without the boxes. You can actually get more money. I don't know how, but you do. So I take these out of the boxes and throw the boxes in the garbage. And you can actually get a little bit more for them. They'll sell. And when you go to ship them, they ship. You can actually ship most of them at first class rate. Like this car right here. As soon as I get it undone, we'll go over and weigh this joker and see what we can ship him for. Alrighty, so with this like John Wayne Racing Champions car, with the box, it weighs over a pound. See, one one. So that would have to go priority mail. You take it out of the box. 12.5. Okay, see that? 12.5. Now watch this. And... I could just throw it in a bubble mailer because I'm not opposed to it. I mean, I've done worse, you know what I mean? But take one of these 864 boxes and we're going to ship it to 15.9 rate, so that's still going first class. And I can put it in a box. And then what I'll do for packing, just to make sure this thing don't get damaged, is I'll seal it in a bag and then just stick it in there and it ain't going to get hurt that way. That's how I usually mail out these cars. And um, Sometimes yeah. we wrap them in bubble wrap. Yeah, if they're lighter, like cars way different, but most of these racing champions, they all weigh about the same. This one is a higher end action car, but it's also put out under the racing, what is it, world racing? Winter Circle. Winter Circle. So um, this one is a more well-built car, so this one's gonna have to go priority, see that? It, you know, it'll be a pound, like a pound, five ounces by the time I pack it, which is fine. But I still think I can get more money for this same car outside of the box. There's one listed for $12.99 plus ship. I'm going to list this one for probably, it'll end up selling for probably 
15 to 18 dollars plus ship for this car outside the box this one in the box it only you know i can probably get 15 bucks for it out of the box in the box 10. i don't know why that's just how it works so if you get any of these racing champions or you have them and you have them listed in the box it may behoove you to take them out the box but make sure you do your research first because i hadn't sold but a handful of them so that's how we roll right Alrighty guys, so here's the deal this morning. It is currently, I have no idea because I can't see my clock. 8.05. 8.05 a.m. We got like 10 more orders going out on eBay, so we're going to get in here and pull them to this morning and show them to you. We got one of the barrels done with the cars. That's the only three left out of it. I got to list those three right there out of that barrel. And so that's awesome. So we'll be done with that today. And we're probably leaving out for Indianapolis coming up on Thursday. So we got today and tomorrow and Today, tomorrow, I want to get these Tommy bags listed here, okay? And then I want to get these four tubs listed. That will just about be all of our haul we picked up at the four 11 yard sub, except for like this lighter thing here. But the majority of it will be listed and a few other little odds and end things here. So that's the goal for that. I want to get that done before we head up there. And we will do another movie style video for then. And, um, them are fun to shoot so we'll start filming as soon as we leave here thursday and we'll film all the way until we get back to the shop that sunday or monday whenever it is so let's get over here and get these orders pulled so far that we've sold you see miss little bit you writing her numbers ain't she writing something no you gotta write it like they wrote it <laughs> oh y'all see our new mouse pad check that puppy out bam son america Y'all can see we got all of them packed up. There's two there packed up. And these are all packed up. And we got them everywhere, ain't we? I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Maybe so. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, while we were packing up these orders that we already showed y'all, I was using this tape gun. It's a tape king. And it's been a really good tape gun for a while i've had this thing over a year now and it's been a good tape gun i can't complain but yesterday i went to cut one of them things off and my whole plastic tightener thing just snapped off of it so i got a, i had to order a new one so it'll be here soon all righty guys and gals so i'm gonna pull the orders today by myself usually whenever i do it by myself i have y'all sitting on a tripod here and i just do it stationary but today i'm gonna try to master pulling the orders by myself one-handed and take y'all with me so y'all bear with me if it's a shoddy camera work or something like that, which I guess it wouldn't be no worse than usual. So let's go over here. We got to go to N5A and grab two pair of brief panties. Oh, she just right. Never mind. The baby just writing so Miss Courtney can film me. N5A. We're gonna do this quick, 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 quick. Let's see. We need two pairs of medium size six, one, and these. Um, we also got some more in here, so let's go ahead and pull them too while we're standing here. So we ain't got to come back over here and dig for more. Uh, now we got to get new tag boy short panties, extra large. I think they're the purple ones. Yep, three, these right here, I think. Yep, that's them. Cool. Make sure we ain't got no more before we leave this barrel. Miss Debbie said, Deb Merstyle said, I said Miss Courtney is the inventory queen. She can find everything quick. I completely agree. Let's go ahead and grab these out too while we're here. Some of these socks. Okay, so these are just, these are just two packs of six. Six total pairs of elephant socks. Nine to eleven, three pairs each new sealed. And these sold $14.96 plus ship. These are some boy shorts, extra large size 8 panties from Secret Treasures. And these ended up selling for $8.60 plus shipping. And these are two new tags, Vassaret Under Shaper Briefs. Got them and them. These sold for $15.19 plus ship. Alrighty, now we got to get a Jurassic Park world movie t-rex dinosaur print all over hat 
this was part of that yard sale buy we did I think yep I'll fix them in a minute this is the dinosaur see how it's got the all over dinosaur velociraptor I think no idea and um, you can see it here it's originally was six dollars ninety six cents it's just a snapback cat this old 1346 plus ship now we got somebody bought a bell a vintage monastery bell listen right here hanging up that y'all will see me occasionally walk by and dang somebody bought this joker paid 10 bucks from ernie over at my storage unit guy and um I thought it was real neat and ornate. This sold 40, 49 plus shipping, so that's cool. It says, Vocom Meme Audi, Audi. Vocom Meme Audi. I guess that's Pig Latin. Now we gotta get some ink pens. We gotta get two packs of the 10 big round sticks. So it'll be this one and this one. Pick these up on that 411, bundled it with some. Was it lotion? Yep. Some lotion for my brother he could bought. And um, these ended up selling 1031 free ship. So that's pretty awesome. Now on N2, we gotta get a telephone. N2. Phone. Got it. Nice looking phone, ain't it? Mm hmm You'd have to have like a 50 foot cord to make it portable. Anyhow, this was a vintage Premier HAC 2554 wall mount touchstone telephone. And it don't have any cords or anything with this old $14.99 plus ship. Now we got a viewer sale. Um, I had sent out some offers yesterday to like, it was like 250 different items. So I just did bulk offers out. I'm running a sale right now 25%, but generally I run it 30% to get what I'm asking for. So I just ran 25% off sale, sent out offers at 10% off. So that equals 35% off, but really not really because it's only 10% off of the price it is after it's 25 percent off so it's a little cheaper than the 35 so actually it's about 33 percent if i didn't just confuse y'all and he, anyhow he said thanks for the good deal i love watching your videos keep up the good work and i'm also a reseller and flip items just like you guys god bless that is awesome and um yeah i mean people who do this for a living or do it part-time it's the easiest way you can to make money and have fun with it so that is so awesome of you. And uh, Mr. Jason, he bought a um, Operation Desert Storm Eagle Iraq patch. So let's grab that joker. A little bit got done right, and so y'all got to bear with me. Right, one more time. So I got a few of these, and um, this is right here. I bought these off of eBay to resell on eBay. Got a big bulk lot of them. Was it eBay or my fire? eBay. This is from that guy we bought like 100 patches from. This is just an Operation Desert Storm Iraq patch. Got the Eagle, Two American Flags, America. And um, Jason, if you was, if you served in this or any kind of military, thank you so much for your service. And um, that's an awesome patch. So I hope you enjoyed this old 607 plus shipping. So we'll get that out to you. All right, now we sold another hat on W2. It's an Avengers hat. Look, right there it is. The next one in queue. This is a youth fitted Avengers hat. And it, the cool thing about this hat, check that out. Under the bill. Well. Oh, I got it upside down. Sorry, fellers and fellerettes. This ended up selling for $14.99 plus ship. So awesome sale there. And last but not least, we sold this Garrett metal detector case. I picked this up over at the storage units at tabs for five dollars and i was debating on keeping this joker see this it says garrett metal detectors on it and i was going to use it as a gun case you know you can you can get you a sock and fit two guns in that pretty easy and it's got backpack straps on it so i was debating on keeping it but i decided i don't need it so we sold it this brought 55.69 free ships so that's awesome there I'll just stick this down into a poly bag somehow. Or I may put it in a trash bag. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I do put it in a trash bag, I'll show you. I'm cheap. Anyhow, that's our orders we got going out. I got to pack these up today, so let me get these packed up for you, for them. Get them out. Alrighty, guys and gals. So, 
I'm gonna show y'all we got everything packed up except for this Garrett metal detector bag. You know, I could put this into a box. I don't have any poly bags this big. So um, with a lot of newer eBay sellers and sometimes seasoned sellers, they get all held up on the shipping of the items, okay? All you need to do, especially with eBay, is make sure your item gets there safe, okay? You want it to get there safe and you want it to be presentable. Okay, you don't want to stuff a, you know, a diaper box with Walmart bags and mail a glass out. I mean, you don't want to do that. That's just, I mean, looks trashy. But as long as you can check off two things, as long as your item gets there safe, okay, and it's presentable, or however you mail the item, if you know, if it's sketchy to you and it, you know, you're putting something in a bubble mailer or something like that. I mean, I mail a lot of stuff in bubble mailers. It always gets there fine. But be prepared if you're doing that kind of stuff. She telling everybody, hey, if you're doing that kind of stuff, if something does happen, you're gambling with your money. You know what I mean? So you got to be prepared to eat whatever costs may happen due to your shipping. So this right here is kind of big. And what I'm going to use is you don't want to use standard garbage bags use these we use these contractor bags i think they're like 10 mils aren't they thickness i'm not sure they're the great old big ones they're 33 gallon i think and they're just big black garbage bags but they're contractor bags so they're thicker see that they're thick and um what i'm gonna do with this let me see if i can get y'all where y'all can see here we go okay so all i'm gonna do with this is we're gonna put the this thing inside this garbage bag. Okay? And we're going to push it down to one corner. Just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you some scissors. Okay? And we're going to first cut it cut it this way. Got all these and I'm just going to cut it this way first. So. Just like this. And I'll save this and use this later on if I need it. Okay, so we got that cut. Now we're going to cut this side of it over here. Can y'all see? We're going to cut this side. And we're going to leave enough wrap it make it look nice okay just like that and then all we're gonna do is fold this in just like y'all must wrapping a christmas gift make sure it's down in there fold this in and then we'll just wrap this up just like this can you hold it for me get the tape tape it Spinning around this way, same thing. Just like a Christmas gift. You know that? I don't wrap Christmas gifts. My wife, y'all can tell. See if I pull that up right there. Okay, move your hand. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna make sure that these are good. So we're gonna we'll put more tape on it, you know, just however much we think we may need. Like I say, it ain't gotta be that pretty, but I mean, it's gonna get there safe. I mean, it's a bag, ain't nothing gonna happen to it. We will put some more tape there on this side. And that's it. I mean, see that right there? We'll get there easy. It'll get there efficiently. It looks decent. I'll put my label on it and I'll be happy customer. So, always just think outside the box. Make your stuff work. You can franken box stuff. You can put stuff in garbage bags. Bubble mailers, poly bags. Don't overthink the shipping. Just as long as the item gets there safe. I mean, that's it, you know. So, I mean, that that's not a bad looking package there. I'd be fine to get this and open it up. So, 
Just some food for thought for y'all. Don't overthink it. A lot of newer eBay sellers will get held up and they won't ever start eBay because they're afraid of the shipping or the inventory and or the buying or the listing. And you can watch me, you can watch Commonwealth, Garage Flips, um, Part Time Pickers, all these bigger channels, um, Cat Nurse Flipper, anybody, Rev Resale. You can watch all these YouTubers until you're blue in the face. But the best way to learn is to jump in. I mean, if you want to sell on eBay, go get you an item and list it. And you're going to make mistakes. I still make mistakes. And all you can do is learn from them mistakes and then you'll know how to do it. I mean, it's just jump right into the deep end, start listing, start shipping. Don't be afraid and you'll make it. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. We're going to get all this stuff, put labels on it all, clean up a little bit, start on them cars over there, get them you know photos taken get this edited and uploaded and um yeah so hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you did give us a thumbs up subscribe smash the like button and we'll see you next time you heard the lady we'll see y'all y'all on the next video everybody say bye miss courtney bye y'all